So, my dear Avril, where do I start? After a mysterious catastrophe, half of the Earth was destroyed. All of your family died that day. While scavenging, you and your best friend Mila found two mysterious entities called Sun and Moon. For some reason, they elected you as the new Keeper of the Balance, giving you what was left of their powers. <laughs> no, seriously, why did they choose you? It makes no sense. Oh, anyway, that's how your desperate mission to save Earth started. Now you are on Grisha, one of the four elemental worlds. Your goal is to absorb its core and defeat an ancient guardian. But sadly, during the landing, you and Mila were separated. While searching for her, you met two alien tribes who are in a perpetual state of war. The Builders and the Destroyers. Oh, what an interesting story. Too bad it was about things that happened three hours ago. And your pep talk was going way over my attention span. Whoa! Whoa! How dare you? I'm Batora, the most... Incredible, awesome, and powerful being in the universe. Yeah, I know. <laughs> what a silly and ungrateful brat! <laughs> Maybe that's why I like you so much. Come back if you need help, and be careful. I'll always be here for you. Okay, time to find a way to reach the core and save Mila. Perhaps I could use some shopping first. Oh yeah. After all, I'm not hiding from giant spiders who want to eat me alive. Come on. You've seen worse. <sighs> like that time when we almost died and you destroyed my bike just because you wanted to chase a plastic bag? Sweet, sweet memories. Let's get back to Gangan. I think the rune should be ready now. Hi again, guys. Is my new shining rune ready? Yes, I truly hope that this will be enough. Be sure to show those destroyers the power of my latest masterpiece, and come back to me if you need more runes. Nice! I love it! So, what do we do now? We lure him outside of his dark chamber? No, you need to meet with Corridor first. He was our previous guardian, and his spirit is still revered by everyone around here. Even in death, he is still extremely powerful. And through his grace, you might find the power we are looking for. Carador. We haven't heard that name in a while. No, it's too soon. She's not ready. I don't understand. Why would he help me? That's something you'll have to find for yourself. But it will be worth your time, I assure you. He's a very ancient spirit, and he led our people for a very long time. Please, be nice to him. If everything goes as we hope, we'll finally be able to do what must be done. They are being pretty vague about this guy. I know, but this is our best shot for now. And honestly, I want to test my new rune on the battlefield. The bridge has been fixed, so you should be able to reach his cradle easily now. Good luck.
cradle that Cahilis was talking about. Let's search for clues around here. This rose is... alive? It feels so strange, and yet so natural. That's the beauty of a burning wish. It can manifest something that it shouldn't be even possible. This voice... Are you Corridor? Yes. I was the guardian of this planet many years ago. This is the last remnant of my soul, where I dream about the glassy sky of eternity. So, you're able to speak, even if you're dead? I dream, so I'm eternal. Just like my desire to discover what's beyond this beautiful jewel we call home. I already know what you're here for. And I've already met another one of your kind once. He was a Chosen, just like you. Another human? Yes, child of man. But my memories are now scattered around. And I don't recall who he really was. Find them, and in exchange, I'll help you to restore Guija and save your friend. Collecting memories? How? Look for dream fragments. They are scattered around my cradle. Great! So they can't be very far! Beware, though. During these endless years of sleeping, I also had dark dreams. And they took a physical form.
you to use your brain instead of punching people in the face. It's like the worst possible thing that could happen. I just saw the day when everything collapsed. That's because it's also part of my memory. How? I don't remember yet. The grim veil of doubt still roams around my essence.
Grigia was nearly destroyed, just like Earth. Wait, but the planet is completely intact. Is that some kind of omen? No. It really happened. The previous Keeper of Balance did that, defying the will of the gods. What? My predecessor did all of this? His name was Sorin, and he was our greatest failure. He was a human, and a chosen one, just like you. But instead of healing each core, he absorbed their powers, causing a mass wave of destruction throughout the universe, Earth included. We tried to stop him, but he became nearly invincible. The only thing that we could do was to save what was left by sacrificing our bodies. So Rose died because of him. Why did you let him do that if you were the Guardian? He shared his dreams with me, and they were so pure. Soren taught me about the universe and what miracles were happening on other planets. For the first time, I felt so little and powerless. I wanted to travel, but I was chained to the core. He promised that he would come back for me, to show me this beautiful little thing called Rose. And so I dreamt of Rose for all these years. That's why your soul took the shape of it, even if you weren't able to see them. You dreamt of a Rose, but you killed another one. How funny. Let's find the last fragment. I need more answers about this traitor. Ave, I know that's a lot to take, but... Please, don't let yourself be devoured by anger.
Soren, I need to stop that bastard. Yeah, but he's kind of invincible. How can we do that? If we manage to absorb and heal each core, then you'll be strong enough to stop him. And after that, peace and order will reign again throughout the universe. We did not talk about him before, because you were not ready to bear the truth. It doesn't matter. You gave me the power to save my planet and to avenge all the people that died because of his greed. And for this reason, I'll be your blade, now and forever. Please, grant me your strength, and I promise I won't let you down. Adamantine will and unbreakable resolve. That's how a champion should behave. Now I can finally remember everything. Come back to me, and I swear that I'll atone for what I did. I am back, Corridor, and I demand an explanation for what you've done. I dreamt about your homeland, and I looked upon the distant stars wishing to see it one day. But my desire led to a disaster. And yet I regret nothing. This everlasting dream gave me more than I could even imagine. I died upon this mountain because I detached from the core just to watch the sky, wishing to reach something that was never meant to be. Soren merely showed me another way, and leaving the core was the right thing to do. And as you know, every dream requires some sort of sacrifice to be obtained. He does not deserve to live anymore. His dream led to the pain that you feel today, sweet Avril. Destroy his rose, and take your revenge. I want to take my revenge, but I honestly think he's just a misguided guy. Rose and everyone else died because of his egoism. But maybe Mila is right. He's just another victim of Soren's malice. What should I do? I... I forgive you. You're just another victim, just like us. Pity is a wonderful thing, child. But are you sure that this is the right thing to do? He's a culprit as well. If he had defended the core, maybe... We cannot reforge the past. But maybe he will be able to atone by teaching Regions about coexistence and tolerance. You dreamt about a distant world full of love and without borders. And you can still achieve that here on the planet you call home. Sometimes we need to bathe in shadow to remember the beauty of our inner light. That's what Rose always said. And I want to believe in redemption as well. You finally understand why I did all of this, Chosen One. My dream may change, but my desire for peace will be the same forever. Here, take what's left of my wisdom I hope that it will help you to heal the wound of our planets. Thank you, Corridor. Your dream of peace and unity will live on inside my heart. Let's go back to the village now. I'm proud of you, Abe. You made the right choice.
Sheila, why are you here? Long time no see, dirty little mouse. I brought a present for this cherished reunion. What the? Tequilas? Oh, take Sheila somewhere safe. I beg you. Okay, this is enough. It's time to smash your rotten face to smithereens. Move a muscle, and I'll kill this filthy traitor. And be sure you don't want to give a trauma like that to this little child. Am I right? <sighs> Leave Dad alone, you damn monster! Did you really think that you could get away with that little plan of yours? Pathetic. Just tell me what you want. Absorb the power of an Alsawa stone. Bring it back to me, and I'll forgive this treacherous worm and his little daughter. An Alsawa stone? I don't even know what the hell you're talking about. It's the last source of energy. I need to defeat him and take his place. It belongs to the Destroyers, which hid it inside a spiritual realm. A realm that can be crossed only by them, or someone with your skills. So, do we have a deal? No! No! Don't listen to him! Fine. But can I really trust you? You have my word. Now go. The little one knows where to find it. Meet me at the village once you've finished. Let's go, Avril of the Human. We have no time to waste. You know that guys like him never keep their promises, right? I have no choice. This can't be real. Dad. We'll find a way to save your dad. And I promise that Izanak will pay for what he did. Yeah, that bastard really crossed the line. Now keep your voice down and please be quiet. What is this place? We are going to sneak into Greyjazo, the village of the Destroyers, and steal all their sacred energy. This is the only way to reach the crystal and free my dad. What? Are you insane? I'm sorry, but I don't like it. It's too dangerous. Now, the road is clear. What the hell is wrong with you? Let me be clear. You are mad, Sheila. This is reckless and stupid. Mad, reckless, and stupid? Huh. Where have I heard that before? Not now, Mila. See the stone from here. It must be in the cave. Are you even listening? I don't think we will ever get out alive from there. Oh yes! Cave really dangerous is. See? I told you. Okay, I don't know what's going on, but they had the chance to kill us. And they didn't take it. Maybe reaching the stone will be easier than I thought. I don't know. Something is definitely wrong here. Hey, wait!
Are you telling me that you act like a horde of gremlins only when you're starving? Yes! Starving makes us angry! So... If I help you with that, you'll keep living peacefully, right? Yes! We want peace! We want to dance! Avril, what are you doing? You can't trust these monsters! Look, perhaps we could help them and save your father at the same time. So, where is the cave? Follow! Follow! I'll wait for you outside. Please be quick. What the hell is this stuff? Just stone! You need to hear it with your power! This is a nightmare. What's happening? Think about the worst possible thing that I could find. Oh no. Another one of those tricky mazes. What's the matter with friend? You hungry too? Let's say that I have problems with... stuff that requires logic. Okay. Take a nap, Mila. I'll wake you up after I've finished. Yes! I made it! <sighs> what year is it? Nice! Nicey! Happy! Happy! Thank you, friend! No more hungry! No more angry! Really, how the hell can you handle a life of constant enthusiasm? If I do that, these fellows will die of hunger and... God, this is so cruel. Gather that energy and stop this madness, champion. Friend? Why don't happy? I'm so sorry, Sheila. But this is for the best. Did you absorb it? I'm sorry, Sheila, but I haven't absorbed anything. Doing so would have led to a massacre, and you know it. No! 
my father helped you and you betray him like this? I hate you, Avril. I hate you so much. Sh Sheila, wait. Friend, run. Why? No dance. He dance with us. Not now, Padara. I've got a tyrant to dethrone.
station, human. You got what I wanted, right? Let him go first. And then maybe I'll give you that stupid rock. Ah! Give me what I asked for, now! You didn't fetch it? I see. What a shame. I knew that aliens can't be trusted. Forgive me, old friend. It won't be painless. that I will erase every single inch of your existence from this galaxy. This is my oath. By the name of the sun and moon, you won't be forgiven. You are free to try. Let's settle this like true warriors. Enter my domain and face your doom. Sheila, I... I don't know what to say. Go away! You are the reason why he died! You're even worse than him! I hate you! I hate you so much! Hey. That monster is beyond salvation. Yes, but this is my fault as well. You just said what you thought was right, Abe. Your friend is right, my beloved one. His very soul. Do you mean that I could be able to defeat him inside his own head? Yes. His pride and his greed are so huge that they manifested inside a spiritual realm. If you strike them through your mental powers, he will become an empty shell. Wow. And what's the difference between those two realms? His pride will contain his obsessions and will be full of destroyers, while his greed will be a deadly maze. The choice is yours, child. It makes no difference to me. All I want is revenge for what he did. Remember that you are the keeper of balance, child. Revenge is not a feeling that we can allow nor consider. The only reason why he needs to pay is because he had no respect toward our mission. Saving Earth is our only true objective. That's harsh. But as much as I hate to admit it, they've got a point. So, my dear Avril, what part of Izanik do you wish to strike? Good choice. He will become a mindless shell. Be ready to fight inside the labyrinth of his mind. I know that you're furious, but please try not to be too reckless if you can. Good luck, Abe. It's time for a reckoning.
distracted alien. Maybe that scream is still sounding in your ears. My mind is more than enough to tear you into pieces, you bastard.
are fast, alien. Let's see if you die faster than Jahilus did. That seemed quite slow to me. Speak while you can, Izanak, because these will be your last words. I will erase your soul. No, I didn't. Kahilis is dead, and it's all my fault. Why? Why did you help them instead of me? I hate you! Sheila, please. No! You knew this would happen! You can't save everyone, Avril of the humans! No one can! You chose to condemn my father to death! To destroy my life! I'm really sorry for what happened, Avril. Kahila's was a good soul and a pillar for our community, but you saved his people, our people. I don't know. Believe me, Avril, as far as we know, Izanak would have killed Kahila's anyway. But now you have to go. Today you proved yourself. You are now strong enough to fulfill your task. Travel to the Pinnacle. There you'll find what you are searching for. Now that Izanik is dead, the gate should be open. I don't know. Maybe I should stay a little longer and help? That's not up for discussion. The time is running low, and your friend needs you. You did enough for us. Thank you. I promise that I'll fix the core and save Grija. Now go, Keeper of Balance. The Guardian is waiting.
What the? Oh, good day, dear Avril. It's nice to see you again. Oh, it's you. Why did you bring me here? Oh, I didn't do anything, darling. Your conscience did. Yeah, the same conscience that made me screw up with everything. <gasps> oh, look! It's a perfect time for a cup of tea. Please, have a sit. What's troubling you, darling? It's just that... This is all so wrong. Suddenly, I learned to travel across galaxies and face hordes of monsters. But I'm still not able to make the right choice. How could I claim to save Earth if I can't even save the one beside me? There are no right or wrong choices. There are only choices to be made. And each of them will shape who you really are. Sugar? So that's the fate of a chosen one? What's the point of all this strength if I can't change my own fate? Oh, look at the sky, darling. There are countless souls up there, just like you and me. They are nothing compared to the immensity of space and time. And yet, even the smallest particle can shape the immortal shell of the universe with their own will, even if they don't want to. Maybe they will create new forms of life, or perhaps they will destroy everything that they held dear. And yet, they will keep on going, shaped by their own actions, until the day they die and ascend into something new and beautiful. That's... cryptic. No, that's life. Remember, your decisions are a mirror of your soul, and they will determine who you want to be. Forget about the good or bad nonsense. I don't want to take any other decision. Never. Oh, I'm afraid that's impossible, young one. I can see your journey is yet full of them.